Wagwan Massive, I'm F Zeba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So my returning viewers, thank you so much for your continuous and continued support of the channel. And to my new viewers and subscribers, thank you very much and welcome to the channel. I share things that I do to live naturally on a budget, of course, and also natural Jamaican remedies, my healing journey, both um, with my hair loss and any other thing that I have to share, I will share that with you. And we also share on Jamaican, the Jamaican landscape, Jamaican folklore, traditional medicine, and you would name it, just about anything and everything Jamaican. Now a couple months ago I got a request to share on how to treat a urinary tract infection naturally or using home remedies. And so in today's video that is what we will be sharing. Um, this family of course is based on my own experience because again I have to always make the disclaimer I am not a doctor. So based on my experience this is where I will be. This is the viewpoint that I'll be sharing from. Now, what exactly is a urinary tract infection? I'm going to use the same words to define what it is. It's an infection of the urinary tract. A urinary tract infection will normally happen when there is bacteria in the urinary tract. It is more prevalent in women because the anus and the urinary tract, the space between them in females is very short. And so you find that women are more prone to getting urinary tract infections. Men also get it and so family, this particular video that I'm doing is basically for the females. Alright, now there are several ways that you can get a urinary tract infection. So I'm just going to be sharing my own experience and how I have learned to actually manage this thing because the thing is about a urinary tract infection, once you get it, you are so much more susceptible to getting it over and over. So you want to learn to manage it, alright, so we keep it at bay. Now, you know the word of God said, the wages of sin is death, right? And so, I was a party girl back then. And so, you know, I remember going to a party and drinking a couple of beers and so on. And then, you know, I was making a couple of trips to the bathroom until I found it really unbearable. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go home. Now, on the journey home, I had no bathroom to stop. And so, you know, I felt like, okay, I'm going to have to keep up the urine, right? So, that is how it started, family. I kept up my urine and that was my first experience with dealing with a UTI. It's a very painful thing, especially if you leave it unchecked. It can be very painful and it can also damage the bladder and eventually damage the kidney. So, you really want to treat it right away. Alright, so at the time I never knew what it is and so I visited my doctor and the doctor would have of course given me some treatment for that. But I found that, you know, it, it, it continued to come back and so I was like, no, I don't want to always be running to the doctor to treat this thing. And so let me just trace the pattern, study what causes it to recur and then from there on I've learned to manage it, right? So here are a few ways that I manage my UTI. Now the, the first thing is... My number one thing for managing a UTI, if you never ever get it, please don't try and get it, right? And how do you prevent getting it? Just ensure that you drink the correct proportions of water that your body needs. So I won't say drink 8 glasses of water because I think that is impractical. And drinking 8 glasses of water, family, you'll be flushing the nutrients and minerals from your body. And you don't want that because it can end up into other serious challenges, right? So just drink the correct proportion of water that your body requires. So that's the first way to keep away a urinary tract infection. Number two, drinking coconut water or what we call jelly water. That's number two. Or it classifies as the same thing because it is still water. So let's just say that drinking coconut water is also a part of number one. Now, number two, as I mentioned to you before, mine came on because of um, holding my urine. So number two, whatever you do, do not hold your urine, especially for too long. When you want to go, just go and release yourself. Do not hold your urine. So that's number two, how to prevent a UTI. Now, number three, good sexual hygiene, right? And so what I mean by this, after intercourse, ensure that you clean up properly after, you know, you finish your business. 
that also helps to keep the urinary tract clean and healthy so those are three ways that you can prevent getting a uti there could be more but those are three ways now on to treatment you already have this thing or you feel this thing coming on and so you know what do you do now one of the most popular treatments is to drink cranberry water or cranberry juice and that's 100 percent cranberry juice but for me family what works for one doesn't work for all and even what I'm suggesting here, um, as my own way of treating it, might not work for you. So I have tried drinking the cranberry water on more than one occasion, and it really does not work for me. I'm not sure why cranberry water don't work for me. So my number one way of treating a UTI at the onset is to drink one of my favorite teas for inflammation, and that is inflammation weed. I've mentioned that uh, herb so many times on this channel and so feel free to check out one of those videos that I talk about that plant in you will see what it looks like and you will see what some of the benefits are it's really a female fertility herb so that's my number one way of dealing with a UTI number two once I feel a UTI coming on what I try to do is to keep the urinary tract clean right and one way of doing that is to ensure that i drink a lot of water and more particularly alkaline water and this is my final way of dealing with a uti number three family this is just one of the ways that i try to keep um this thing at bay i feel it coming on i will do a vaginal steam right so also again family i refer you back to my other videos where i talk about a vaginal steam but yes family i or yes ladies i just try to do that once i feel this thing coming on right because one thing with a uti again you know it gives you it's a very uncomfortable feeling if you've had it before it's very uncomfortable and i mean sometimes you'll just go to the doctor for a treatment and then in no time again it comes back if you follow these kind of hygiene practices just keeping the urinary tract clean drinking water on a regular basis drink what your body needs then you find that you will keep it at bay and you won't have it to deal with as much and so i'm going to leave you with this final tip so you got a uti and one of the things that happens with that is stress incontinence pregnant women might know what this is but it also happens to you when you have you have had a UTI too often, right? And that is just you being unable to hold the urine. So sometimes, so sometimes you'll cough and you find that a little urine come down. Sometimes they laugh, a little urine come down. So this is one of the things that you can do to manage that after you have had a UTI and even throughout the entire process and regularly is to do your Kegel exercises yes a kegel the kegel exercises help to just strengthen the vaginal muscles so that you are able to hold your urine and it also just helps with managing the the infection right so these are just my tips from my personal experience and to be honest with you i've not had to deal with a uti i used to deal with it regularly and i've not had to deal with it for quite a while now i just try to obtain these good practices hygiene practices and of course keep it at bay now that's all i will share in this video if you want more on this uh maybe i've not mentioned everything so you know just let me know i'll answer to your comments in the comment section and so i leave it here thank you for watching and i will see you in another video